Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to georeference and digitize a registry index map. So for those who have never seen uh, RIM or uh, what we refer as uh, registry index map, this is how it looks like. And uh, so you can see that uh, every portion of land is assigned uh, a parcel number. So this is what we're going to georeference today. And uh at least uh, this one has got uh, uh grids and the coordinates so we have the grids on the we have the no things on this uh left hand side or right hand side uh, and then we have the eastings that are running from uh these eastings are at the bottom of this uh, map so those are we are going to utilize them and uh, I have already identified four control points. I have the first one here, of which I'm going to call A. I have the second one here, B. And uh, this one I've called it C. And the last one is D. So what I did, I just, uh, I just typed uh, the coordinates of these controls inside Excel so that uh, I'm going to import the points in the Civo 3D so that you can plot the points and then uh, you reference them up so this is the first point which which i called a and these are the coordinates the nothings and the eastings and then uh, as i said the second one is b uh, c d so now that we have this uh, let's see how to uh, import these points in civo 3d so there are, there is a format that you need to uh, to use so we're going to convert this to uh, comma delimited as i've mentioned in several of my previous videos so go to save us and then uh, go to where you want to save the uh, csv uh, I'll, I'll leave the name as uh, it is and then i'm going to change the file type to uh, csv comma delimited then go to click save but here uh, at the header we are, i want to add some few uh, headings uh, let's call that elevation next one uh, description or name <coughs> so since I don't need uh, the elevation I can keep uh, in form of zero <coughs> and then I'm going to copy to cut and paste them here description and then this one we can call points of which there are one two three and four so in order to import this into Civo 3d you need to get rid of the headings and then you need to close the CSV otherwise it cannot be opened at the same time in Civo 3D at the same time you opened as a, Civo, a CSV so I'm going to open up the Civo 3D and uh, the first thing that I need to do is to do uh, the unit setting so you need to type in a command units and then uh, hit enter so i'm going to stick to two decimal places uh, the length then the angle i need to clockwise direction so we go to direction choose north click ok ok and uh, uh, click save so you're going to you can save it whatever you want you can choose so I'm going to save mine on the desktop. And then I'm going to click save. Now I need to import uh, the points. In order to import points in Civil 3D, uh, click on points at the top of at the top here. We have this points tab click on it scroll down to import stroke export and choose import so 
you need to specify the point format and uh, ours is uh, point nothing easting elevation and description then click the green plus navigate to the location where you have the points uh, click it and then click open so if you see this uh, tick you know that uh, your points are safe and you can also have a preview of all those points at the bottom here so just go to ok and then type ze for zoom extend and you can see the points are really small because of scale so we need to customize you can see at the at the bottom here the scale is uh, the annotation scale is 1000 and uh, we need to change that just click on that small triangle and then go to customize so if you click on 1000 you can see that uh, one paper millimeter is equivalent to one drawing meters which means uh, let's have a look at uh, this one so the scale of this rm is uh, 1 is to 1000 so here we need to have uh, 1 2 is 1000 and you can see that the maximum scale is 1 is to 5000 so which means the if one paper millimeter is equivalent to one drawing meters for uh, 1000 it means for uh, 1 is to 10000 we have a uh, drawing uh, dr one 10 drawing meters so click add and then we name our scale which is 1 to 10,000 and then the paper unit is 1 and then the drawing units you now change that to 10 click ok and click ok so if you now change this scale to 10,000 you can see now we have uh, the points are now looks good so select all these points then go to properties I need to change the style uh, go to style and then I can choose any style so uh, then click apply and ok then ok another thing we need to change is the point label we need to add point labels I'm going to add description only and uh, under annotation we click uh, this one to open the text launcher text style launcher then i'm going to change the te the uh, font family to times new roman and then click apply then close so we have these points now we are going to use these points to georeference uh, to georeference the RIM. So the next step is to import the map. So click uh, insert, then go to raster image. So I have it on the desktop under this folder, and then open. So here I saw the scale was uh, 1 is to 1000, so I'm going to type uh, 1000, uh, 10,000 only. So here I need to type 10, 1, 2, 3, 10,000. Everything else is going to, I'm going to leave it as default, then click OK. So I'm going to point of insertion is that point. So point A, this one here, we said it is this intersection here so we only need two points to to align this uh, RIM but before we align uh, this uh, RIM first of all we need to scale it so that it can fit to uh, whatever points that we have here. so I'm going to select the whole RIM and then type SC for scale choose scale and then the base point is going to ask you the base point I'm going to scale using uh, this point A here and this other one 
across here the diagonal so select at the center there and then type r for reference or you can just click on r or on reference click enter and then uh, you can see specify reference length click the same point uh, we are using uh, the diagonal uh, distance this one here so click at the center the intersection there and then uh, just type in point or you can just click on the uh, command on the command line points then select point a which which correspond to this first point that we used point a and then uh, then point c which corresponds to this second point that we used here so uh, we select that and uh, now our RAM has been scaled accordingly according to uh, the points that we have here so the next step we are going to align so we are going to use the same uh, points this point A here and the point uh, C so we say we are not to align we are going to rotate so select again the uh, RAM and type RO and hit enter so the base point uh, this is the first point here uh, click R for reference enter so uh, specify the reference angle click that point there so that that you can specify the azimuth or the angle of uh, between these two lines be between these two points select this uh, uh, point C Ag again uh, type P for point and hit enter and then we go for the reference uh, points which are A and then uh, C and uh, now our, po our map is uh, properly uh, rotated now what you can do, uh, you only need to align this or to overlay this uh, over over the points. So select uh, the map again and type align. Align and hit enter. So again I'm going to use the same points. Uh, so the first source point is A, this point here. and uh, click the first point we only need two points in civil in civil three in autocad not like in arcgis where we need at least uh, three points so select the second point which is uh, c here and hit enter and then uh, say yes just click on yes now our image has been moved over the points now select the in the RM right click and uh, under display order send to back now you can see we have our points right there so we have our points you can see though this one moved uh, a little bit also this one so which means uh, the map was uh, Uh, actually has some distortion because of uh, maybe scanning but uh, it looks fine now the, the second phase uh, or the second process is to digitize so I want to digitize these uh, parcels using line so just you can either type line or just select line create line and uh, start digitize, digitizing so from this point i'm going to 
that point and then that particular corner then uh, select and point there hit enter uh, so I'm going to speed up the process so that uh, we So guys, I'm going to speed up this process and uh, I'll see you after after digitizing. So I've just finished digitizing these uh, parcels. What I can do, I can just select all the all the lines. X, yes, then uh, click on properties and then change the color. Let's make it. Uh, Let's give it that uh, color then I think that's okay click save so uh, this you have now your parcels uh, they are now pro properly uh, digitized so a place like this you can just quickly go to trim and uh, trim all those uh, corners so for this case I'll, again just speed up again so that uh, we don't take so much time So that's it. Uh, now we have uh, your parcel. Now you have your parcel, and uh, that's how you can actually reference and digitize uh, what you call a registry index map. So if you want to know what a registry index map, you can just have to Google uh, so that you can find the information regarding the RIM. So that's it for this tutorial, and uh, see you in the next one.